Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to fix USB ports on Mac OS Tahoe. As you can see, I'm booting to Mac OS Tahoe installer and my EFI is adapted for Mac OS Tahoe. However, the installer does not boot and gets stuck due to the USB issue. To fix this issue the USB ports needs to be fixed so that Mac OS Tahoe installer can boot. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. To fix the USB ports without having the need to map it again, there are two available methods. One is an automatic method, and the other is a manual method. In this video, I'll cover the automatic method. You can check the other method on the forum. Before getting into the guide, let me show you that the USB ports are already mapped and working fine on Mac OS Sequoia. And as you can see, all the ports are mapped, including Bluetooth. Also, let me show you the USB information and system information. As you can see, all the ports are detected and working as expected. Before you follow this guide to fix the USB ports on Mac OS Tahoe, you'll have to map your USB ports first. If you haven't mapped the USB ports yet, follow the guide for my button to map the USB ports. Now, to fix the USB ports for Mac OS Tahoe, mount the ESP and make the backup of the original mapped text. Now, open the terminal and execute the following commands one by one. When prompted, enter your password. Here, as you can see, the command executed asks to install command line tools. If you get a similar prompt, make sure to install command line tools. After the software is installed, execute the rest of the commands one by one. After executing the last command, drag the mapped text from the ESP to the terminal window and press enter key. As you can see, the USB ports.kex that I'm using has 12 ports enabled, and uses a Mac 21 SM BIOS and the Apple USB Merge Nub class that works for Mac OS Sequoia and Pro. Now, Press the U key and then the Enter key to update keys for Mac OS Tahoe. After that, press the C key and then the Enter key to update class as well. Now, lastly the SM BIOS. As you can see, I'm using iMac 21 SM BIOS which is supported by Mac OS Tahoe so I'll not change that. 
However, if you're using an SM BIOS that is not compatible with macOS Tahoe, you'll have to update the SM BIOS in the mapped text using the S key here and in the config.blist as well. After you're done, the changes will be reflected on top. Now, press Q to quit USB map injector edit. And then quit terminal. And now, you can use the updated mapped text for upgrading your system to macOS Tahoe or can use it when performing a clean install on a compatible system. As my EFI is adapted for macOS Tahoe, I'll just put the EFI containing the updated mapped text for macOS Tahoe on macOS Tahoe bootable USB and will show you that now macOS Tahoe boots up on this system after fixing the USB ports. And you can see, the macOS Tahoe installer has been booted successfully. Currently, it shows as beta, but it's macOS 26 Tahoe. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.